Geekum247.com, Taylor Ham here at Baytown Lee High School. I got Javon Richardson and his head coach Marvin Sedberry. Uh, Javon, first scr scrimmage of the spring, had a couple of touchdowns, a couple of catches. How'd you do out there today? Uh, I did good. I mean, I thought I could have did better, but uh, it came out all good. Getting better as a team. What were your goals coming into the spring? Making me and my teammates better. In which way? Any way possible. <laughs> um, you know, it, was there any, like, one facet of your game that you wanted to improve? My route running. And how do you think that's come along so far? Good, good. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Uh, coach, uh, you've been coaching him since he was a freshman here. Uh, just kind of evaluate his, his, uh, his game. You know, his game is, is definitely improving. Um, you know, obviously he has playmaker ability. Um, he's an explosive player. You know, we our biggest thing is to try to get, it, get, get the ball into his hands quickly. And is, is there one game that if you could critique him on and part of his game, what, what would it be? Ooh, um, I'd say securing the football afterwards. <laughs> That's probably the biggest thing. When, he, when the ball's in his hands, good things are going to happen. You know, and you know, sometimes when you're trying to make a big play, you know, you can get to shift in the ball because you're – making defenders miss, that'd probably be it. Because other than that, I mean, like I said, he's one of the most explosive, talented kids I've coached. You can kind of move him around. You can put him in the backfield. You can put him on either side of the line of scrimmage. Kind of talk about, uh, you know, just his skill set overall. <laughs> you know, since I've been here, we've played him at quarterback. We've played him at running back. We've played him at inside receiver, outside receiver. We've played him at corner. We've played him at safety. So, you know, I told him the next thing he's going to do is put his hand down and see if he can play in a three-point stance. Um, I think his skill set, you know, he's an athlete. When the ball snapped, you know, he has a knack for just being around and making plays. And that's just – and he's also, you know, a leader on and off the field, and that definitely helps our team chemistry. How do you feel about just being a leader and, and a senior next year and trying to help you know bring your team to another playoff berth? Um, I feel, I feel good. I mean, I'm still I'm still working on being a leader. You know, you got to learn how to lead before you can lead. So I'm just learning. I'm being a vocal leader right now. I mean, I'm a leader, but I need to be more of a vocal leader right now. So talk about the commitment to Texas A&M. Got that over with a little bit early, huh? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I mean, it's, it's going to be exciting. Just trying to get everything done right now, so I could I can finish it off and have fun up there. So do you that think that'll make it easier for you going into your senior year and focus on, you know, leading your team? Yes sir. Yes sir. What was it about Texas A and M that really drew you to them early? It seemed like you really liked them from, from day one. It's just I mean, they they knew how to they knew how to well, they knew they knew what to do. I mean, they knew what to do to get me. They I like they I like the traditions, all the traditions they have and I don't know. They just I just see myself there. See myself there. Well in the offense. I see myself in the offense. I mean I might not be as big as Jeff Fuller, but hey, I can make plays. <laughs> Good, uh, fair enough. Now you've got some. Have you been paying attention to Texas A&M's recruiting class right now, and some of the guys that they have committed? Yeah, Trey Williams, Matt Davis, uh, who else? Braylon Addison. I know he just committed. So yeah, I mean it's gonna be a nice little group. It's gonna be a nice little group. You played against them growing up? No, I ain't played. Against, I don't think. Uh, no. Just in uh, AAU and. Oh, and, uh, I played against uh, Braylon. Yeah, I played against, and Matt. Yeah. I played against both of them. So yeah, in basketball, I did. Yeah. How nice it is to have some playmakers like that around you, you know, coming in that same class? I mean, it feels good. I mean, it's going to be good. It's going to be nice. 2012 is going to be fun. It's going to be fun. What do you want to work on from now until, the, you know, the beginning of the senior season? Um, being a leader. Being, being a leader. leader. Yes, sir. And if, if you had, like, one goal that you wanted to set for, for, your, for the, the season that you wanted to accomplish, maybe, you know, catching a certain amount of balls or touchdowns, you, have you thought about that yet? Um, just making my teammates better Good. every day. Just making them better in the weight room, on the field, in meetings. Just making them better. Absolutely. Um, you guys going to try to qualify for the state tournament? We are. Yeah. We are. <laughs> okay. We ain't going up there just to play. No, nah, we go up there to win. We ain't going up there to play. You got a pretty tough pool. You got Lamarck and, and Cinco Ranch. You're right. You're right. Yeah. They, we got playmakers just like they got playmakers. And coach back in here, Landry, uh, missed a couple of games last year with a broken wrist. Uh, you know, where's he at right now? Um, he's in, I mean, he's ready to go. You know, I, I think one of the advantages we're going to have offensively is having um, Javon on one side and Darian on the other. And then I told them uh, they got to prepare to prepare themselves to obviously play special teams. You're also going to be kick returners for us. And then I told them in crunch time they're going to go to defensive. One's going to play corner, one's going to play safety. So, you know, we're going to utilize them while they're here. Um, you know, definitely try to prepare them for the next level. But, um Having both of those guys is definitely a, a blessing for us. Finally, Javon, have you got any more schools coming after you? Have you heard from you know any other colleges? Um, I don't want to. I don't no. want to hear from them. I don't want to hear from them. For what? 
<laughs> so I'm guessing the, the commitment to A&M is pretty solid. Yeah, it's solid. It's staying there. I'm not going. I'm not doing nothing else. Well, Stay. Appreciate the time. Stick to gigum247.com for all your latest Texas A&M news.